guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use your green screen in like five minutes and how to remove the background and place yourself anywhere just like I did in the intro for like that train station, but you can just use it for anything. I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So I would say with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have this train railway free stock footage clip and I'm gonna remove the audio because that's gonna be a little bit annoying for this video. So basically, as you can see right now, this is just a train passing by on the rails. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place myself on that on that rail. And right before the train comes, I'm going to fly up. So what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to drag in the clip that I filmed. And you want to basically film yourself when you are completely on a green background from top to bottom. So this is basically what it looked like in my case. All right. So this is basically me pretending to be on the phone. And what we need to do is we need to mask ourselves out and also remove the background. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go hit the video effects tab and we're going to add in a little bit more brightness and contrast. So I'm going to scroll down until I see brightness and contrast. And then I'm going to drag the videos one onto the clip. So it gives it a little bit more exposure and everything like that. So then what we need to do is uh, remove the background. So I'm going to click on the chroma key right here. Then we're going to pick the default one and drag it into our clip. And then what we need to do is uncheck it for a second. And then we're going to click on this blue bar. We're going to pick, pick this pencil icon and we're going to pick a nice green part, for example, right there. Boom. Then we're going to recheck it, but then we need to optimize this a little bit. So I'm going to drag down the high threshold and bring up the low threshold so it actually becomes transparent. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the media generators tab and I'm going to place a solid color under the clip so I can see like what, what things we need to adjust. So that's, so that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see right now, it makes this green uh, part uh, red. So I'm going to click on this event pan crop icon and then I'm going to mess with these markers until every Everything is looking nice and crisp. I'm gonna do that like this. Then the only thing we need to do is mask out ourselves. So we're gonna click on the event pen crop icon of the clip. And then we're gonna hit mask at the bottom. We're gonna pick the anchor creation tool. I'm gonna to just go around the mask uh, around the green part like completely like that. So now we're just standing to be on, uh, pretending to be on the phone in just a completely transparent background. So then what we need to do is we need, we need to actually just place it onto the clip, but it's not looking that realistic. So we need to just ma make sure to time it with the train. And we're gonna also mirror this. So I'm gonna hit position, right click, flip horizontal. So it looks like I'm looking at the train. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and, and time it. So then we need to do is make ourselves smaller. So I'm gonna click on the track motion icon and I'm gonna just make myself smaller until I fit on that rail. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's play it back right now. So now I'm just pretending to be on the phone. Then the train is approaching. Right before the train hits, I'm gonna fly away. So now what we're gonna do, first of all, is do it like this, boom. Then what we need to do is lower the opacity of the train clip. So I'm just completely in there in myself in transparency. Then we're gonna click save snapshot to file above the preview screen. Actually drag that into our timeline and cut it. What we're gonna do is we will end up having like a still frame as you can see like that. But then the train is gonna hit. So then I'm going to click on the event pan crop icon. Then we're gonna click right here and then we're gonna drag this guy down. So we're gonna make sure that this icon is set to move to Y only and then we're gonna drag this F box down until I'm flying out of the screen like that. Boom. That's how amazing it is, guys. So this is how to actually make yourself transparent, remove the green screen, place yourself in any scenario. It doesn't really matter which one. And right now I'm just flying away right before the train hits. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. So guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video tomorrow in a Premiere Pro video because I have a really, really cool idea for a video that I want to drop tomorrow. So that's it. Make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video.